Oh, it's warm. Let's pop this on as usual. Hi. Uh, right, hang on. Let me get this up. There. Okay, right. Now then, let's find somewhere safe to put this. There's just stuff everywhere here at the minute. I should be able to read it from there. Hello. Glad that you have joined me. Um, so who have we got watching then? Are you going to say hello? <laughs> I'm going to wait for a few people to join before I... Oh my goodness! Hello, Lauren. It finally arrived. And I haven't touched, I haven't even opened the box. It's still in... T oh, yeah, I've covered the address over. I had to think then. Oh, I didn't know if you would actually um, know. I was going to email you. I thought, oh, I'll just, I'll just go live. Um, so I'm going to wait for a few people to join. And then I'm going to do the unboxing. Okay, so I hope you're all right for a minute. Um, just let these people join first. Um, I am so glad as well. Um, I can't wait to open it. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I don't know how I've waited all day. But I thought, no, I'm going to go live and do it. Um, it's always better to go live. Then you get a true reflection of what I think of it. I know I'm going to like it anyway, so. <laughs> um, but before that, before I do that, I'm just going to show you what I've been doing today. It's so hot at the minute. Mind you, I shouldn't complain because it's not as hot as some places have been. Um, I've been putting all my cards together. Um, basically, I've been... Well, this is embroidery work and it's all printed into cards. So I've had some of these printed from my local printers. Um, haven't sent off them, all local. And I was thinking, actually, Lauren, um, I like this pattern and I thought it would look really nice on fabric, although it's not really designed for a fabric print, do you think? Um, I painted this in watercolour. Is that the right way up? No, that's the right way up there. Um, I painted it in watercolour and ink um but obviously when you're designing fabric you've got to have that consistency is that right that is so so pretty thank you well i thought i don't know would it be any good to make into fabric or do you think you've got to I, i'll have to sort of like make do you know what i mean make it um consistent so the pattern runs along if you know what i mean and also another one I thought would be nice for fabric is this one. Um, I quite like that. Is that the right way up again? Yeah, that one there. Of course, you may be able to do a mirror repeat, yeah? What do you reckon then? Do you, Would you like that as fabric? What do you think? <laughs> the fish are so fun, yeah. That's what I thought. Um, that's actually been cut slightly to make the card square. That's the actual painting. Well, that's a print of the painting there. Um, so it's a little bit wider. But I'd love to. I'd love to send you um, the pattern, and if you want to get it printed into fabric, I'd love. Uh, you know, you're welcome to. I'd love for you to do that. Hi, Hina. Hi, Richie so hot right how many have we got watching we've got it says i can't see it's got five up there and four there right um yeah so <clears throat> i've been cutting cards out all right um we're not cutting them out P putting them all together that there's another one that's a local landmark um they're called the nearly there trees or the coming home trees so i've still got to fold some of these yet and pop them into envelopes um this one here is just a harbour scene there we go it's just a, like a rough watercolor and what else we've got here oh we've got the my bumblebee print uh there so you see that um i've also got the original it's all packaged up it's quite a large original that's packaged up ready to go to the gallery on saturday uh, no friday friday saturday saturday yeah um right I would really like to open this. I'll post this in so whatever. Hold, please. Oh, thank you. 
That would be great. Yeah, that's a good idea. I, I didn't like to do it myself because, you know, some people are a little bit funny about what you post in their groups, aren't they? I don't mind anyone posting their YouTube channels and this, that and the other in my group. It doesn't worry me. But some people do, don't they? Um... As we know, well, as some of you know, Olu is on holiday now in uh, Nigeria. So if Olu, if you are watching, I know your signal is not fantastic out there, but hello. Hope you're having a lovely time. Um, we miss you already. <laughs> uh, right, I'll wait for Lauren to come back to see when she has posted it on her group. Um, and in the meantime... Richie, I'm a bit down. My iPad pencil was supposed to get delivered, but they are now saying it's damaged. They're saying it's damaged? That's not good. Why didn't you just go and get one from Ar Argos? Can you get them in Argos? Oh, bring my chair forward a bit. Can you get them in Argos? Uh, right. So, basically, I've got a package. It's arrived this morning from Lauren Mormino, okay? Um, I purchased one of her lovely handbags. Okay, I'm back. But yes, always post your items, videos, and so whatever. Thank you. And same with me. Um, my Facebook group is actually called Machine Embroidery and, which is an and like that, Sewing Community. Um, and we've got a fair good following at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I... Uh, I allow people to post their, um, you know, their videos and stuff like that in there. Not too much digitising though, it gets out of hand. Right, so we've got the box here. We have the box. I just, I want to wait for a few more people to come. I won't wait too, too long. Um, but while we're waiting, I will go through um, some of my other little bits and pieces that I've been doing. I've had my Bumblebee um, painting put into a, a, an A4 print as well, which will be uh, framed and then popped in a couple of these little mounts here. I'm not sure what colour to do the inner yet. I've done the big one in the pink, but I quite like the blue. So I thought that would look quite nice. Um, I have got all these cards to package up. I've got a shed load of envelopes in all sorts of colours. So I'm trying to mix and match some of the colours, like this one, for instance, I've got, that's one of my embroidery projects that I did. Um, and then I put it into four different sections and made it into a like an Andy Warhol type card. Um, I put a green envelope with that because I think they, they look quite cute. They're all going off to the galleries um, around Cornwall. Um, what else have we got here? We've got a little uh, seagull, which is an embro another embroidery piece of art. Um, right, let's have a look. I got my Apple Pencil on my O2 account. Oh, I see, I see. Right, we've got 12 people watching. I've got to go for it. I've got to. <laughs> should we go for it? Should I go for it, Lauren, or should I wait for a little bit longer? Because I know, you know, that you're a very busy lady as well. Should I wait for a little bit longer? Or should I go for it? Oh, we've got 20 people watching now. 20 people watching. I think they must be coming from your group. Let's hope so. Hi, if you're if you're new here, hello, my name is Kim, and um, basically I, I'm an embroidery channel, and but I also do a lot of art now as well. I'm card making at the minute, not making them, but packaging them all up. Um, I have my art put into um, prints. Uh, Maggie Brewster, I'm subscribed but never been on a live. Hi, Maggie, welcome. Um, how cute are these cards? Yes, they're lovely, aren't they? Hi, Mary's with us. Hi, Mary. Uh, yes, yeah, so, um, Wendy, hello. Hi, Wendy. Nisa, Nisa Ra, Raman, Nisa, are you new here? We've got 22 watching. Thanks, Lauren. Thank you for posting it in your group. Yeah, I love this. I really, really like this one. I love it. And there's, do you know what? It's so simple doing this. It's so simple. Get your watercolours, splosh a few color you know a few different colors around that's all i did sort of make it look possibly like a bit of a flower and then doodle around it to make it look more like a flower and then you end up with something like that and it's really effective and it's really really relaxing and therapeutic doing stuff like that um whenever you're ready right i'm gonna do it i'm going for it i'm going for it so i have purchased a bag from lauren um and i'm in the uk 
So it's took a little while to get here, hasn't it, Lauren? We've been worried about it. About, about it. Now I'm going to open it very carefully. So I'm going to get my little... Um, no, you're not new. Okay. I'm going to get my little knife, but I'm going to be really, really careful. Okay. So here we go. Right. I'm going to pop it up here so you can see a bit better. I'm really looking forward to this. I love opening things, but I, I'm especially looking forward to this. I'm going to go just a slightly along there. Be as careful as possible. There we go. Right. I got a message yesterday saying it had hit the UK. So I knew that I was either going to get it today or tomorrow. And luckily it came today. Right. Are we ready for this? I'll put that there so I can see. Right. Here we go. <laughs> now, first of all, I can see two lovely cards, a bunch of stuff I randomly make. So there's Lauren's card. Okay. It's really pretty, isn't it? Really pretty. More me no. Um, and as I'm aware, she's called more me no because people kept saying her name wrong and that basically tells you how to say her name. And I actually said her name wrong as well. I was going Monimo or something like that, but more me know. There we go. Um, she's got a website as well. So check her out. Okay. Uh, it is actually more me know, isn't it, Lauren? Um, www.moremeknow.com. Okay. I'll put that there one more time. All right. There's the stuff on the back there. Okay. Right. So I've got two of those cards there. Oh, this paper feels nice and soft. Right, we won't we'll put that over there. Over there, that's a little slip. My God, look what, I love the bag it's in. Oh, look, is this a little present? Oh, look, got a little bu uh, book. Thank you. That's nice, I'm gonna have, open that in a minute. Oh my god, look at this bag that you've wrapped it in. I love that. That's really nice. But just before... Oh, look. Hang on. Oh, thank you, Lauren. Look at that look. One of her clips. Oh, I like that. I better make sure, because I don't want to chuck anything away. Just make sure there's nothing else in here. We'll leave the best till last, yeah? Right. Can't see anything else in there, okay? So we're safe to put that over there. I'll move that pen. Um, hi, Kim, I made it. Your watercolour paintings make wonderful cards. Thank you. Right. This bag is from Lauren Mormino, okay? And she has a YouTube channel called Lauren Mormino. I will actually link it in this description when I've finished, all right? And I purchased one of her bags because I love watching her make her bags. I love how she makes them. She makes them really well and the, the fabric choices are really nice. And she even does her own fabric sometimes as well. Now, let's open it. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, this is just so nice. I love the fabric. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, look. Oh, oh. I'm gonna show you first before I look oh that is like designer that is that is designer isn't it look at that oh i just love i love this color bag accessories look at that look oh it's a little froggy oh look i oh, love it i absolutely love it lauren lauren you are just so clever i love it is so nice go and check her out check her bags out these are they're just so well made oh my goodness me that is just lovely i love it right let's have a look let's open it up shall we and we've got the strap as well oh <laughs> i love it oh it's just so i can't I, I won't shut up now that is really really nice and that it's just going to stand out wherever I go. I know that that is going to stand out. It's just so different and unique. I just, honestly, Lauren, you are very, very clever. You're a very clever woman, very clever lady. 
let's put this on as well let's put this on oh can you see okay let's make sure we do it all right let me read some of your messages a minute um it is a beautiful bag pascal yes tori pascal this oh what's that? hang on a minute i'm just trying to pas pascali pas the pascal fabric is one of my faves from lauren I was reading someone's called Pascal and then somebody said the Pascal fabric and I got a bit confused there. I was like, did I call somebody Pascal? But it is, there's someone called Pascal there. Um, hi, Tristy. Hi, everybody. Hello. Look at that look. Oh, I love it. Lauren, you're just so clever. Lauren, say hello to, say hello to everybody. Lauren's watching everybody. Lauren's here with us. Look at that look. Oh, let's have a look inside as well now. Look. Look at the inside. Oh my goodness me, I found something else, look. Ooh, a little more Mino key, key ring. And look, we've got a little, um, little froggy Pascal. Look how well made it is. Look at the rainbow zipper and everything. Oh. That is just so lovely. The colour choices there, Lauren, are brilliant. Are you, did you make, uh, have you made more of these? Because I don't know if you have or not. I just saw this and I loved it. I love quite a few of your bags, but, you know, I think I'm going <laughs> to, I can't afford to buy everything. I would love to, but honestly, the, go out and check her. Check her out. It's lovely. I often watch Lauren. She's a very talented lady. She is, isn't she, Wendy? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, the way she sews, she's just so, like she said, she's been doing it for years and she's very good at it. But I absolutely love that. So yeah, Lauren's saying hello, everybody. Say hello to Lauren, everyone. <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't subscribed to, to Lauren, which you probably all have, go and check her out and subscribe to her channel because she's very interesting. I like her lives i like watching her videos because she's a real down-to-earth kind of person and she's i think she's lovely my kind of person i love it thank you so much lauren honestly i really 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 love it and i'm going to be taking this out with me tomorrow i'm going to go out with it tomorrow because i know i just know people are going to look at that they're definitely going to look at it aren't they i love the yellow the yellow is really nice and I love the feel of the, the texture of it as well. Um, everyone say hello to Lauren. Thank you so, so much. I'm going to pop that there so you can all have a good look at it. And I love the way it's packaged as well. You've got a nice proper bag for it and everything like that. Um, I'm tempted to probably go and get another one as well. I really like that. It's lovely. Look. Oh... You outdid yourself, Lauren. You really did. It's lovely. Let's have a look at this clip as well. And this lovely hair clip. Let's have a look. I like that. That's like, um, it looks a little bit like, you see the, I can't think what the name for it is. I know that looks like tortoise shell, but that there looks like something. I can't think what they call it now. Sewing. I did a little um, really fab bag. It is beautiful. As you know, I'm, I'm English, British. I'm in the UK, so it's taken a little while for it to get to me. But it's arrived and it's safe and it's in perfect condition. Brilliant. That's what, you know, I, I don't mind the weight. Right, let's have a look at this little bag. A uh, little bag book. There's, Lauren sent me a free book as well, look. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's just so nice. Thank you so much. Thank you for being so clever. Right. Let's have a look. There we go. I actually quite like... I like it shoulder... I like to... But I, like, I quite like holding my bags like this. I don't know about you lot. I quite like holding my bags by the shorter handle um that's it like a rose quartz that's what i was trying to say it's like a um like a gem like a semi precious gem stone do you think it is or is it do you think it is it 
It looks like it is. It's probably not, but it's cool, isn't it, Mary? Look at that look. If only I could make bags like that. Not in a million. <laughs> I can't see myself somehow. I did, however, I did take a little leaf out of um, Lauren's book and decorated my sewing machine, which is actually actually covered at the minute in stuff because I am trying, as you know, trying to have a clear out of all my stuff. But there's my sewing machine, which I hardly use. And I decorated it with uh, stickers. Haven't got any of Lauren's stickers or anything yet, but I will do. And pin badges from other YouTubers. Um, I like to I like to support as many YouTubers as I can. Um, obviously, I've got to like their stuff as well. That's a bonus. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. A Jack. Yes, mine's a Jack. Mine's a Jack, but um, I still haven't got used to using it yet i'm a bit um i'm a bit of a newbie when it comes to sewing as such um i have got a little brother not a brother what have i got a patchwork a singer patchwork as well which is just like a home machine um it's just plastic right but it looks nice though lauren it looks lovely thank you thank you so much thank you for all my little free gifts and thank you for um everything really and thank you for Thank you, thank you for joining. It's really appreciated. Um, I need to learn a bit more sewing before I can even get to grips with stuff like this. I have, I did try to sew. A, it's not a, um, what do you call those ones? Lauren's got one. A, uh, it's a dookie, but uh, is it a walking foot or something? I can't remember now. That there's just a, um, oh, you forgot to include the stickers. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't expect any of this, honestly didn't expect all this these little bits and pieces thank you very much i really appreciate it my little key ring as well don't worry um yeah that machine there is just a normal straight it's what is what's, what do they call them i can't even think what they call them now it's a straight stitch but it's uh the foot it's not got um oh come on richie help me out lauren help me out you're you're more of experts at this than i am Maria, hi Lauren, fabulous bag. It is, isn't it? She's so clever. She's so clever. Where is it? It's down here. Oh, hang on. I just wrecked the place. <laughs> Got to get this camera stuff sorted out. I'll oh, get there in the end. There we go, look. There we go. We have this lovely bag. I do also like the, um, uh, the fake, what's it called? The fake... The one with the um, alien thing. I, I quite like that as well. You call it something. Face grabber or something? I can't remember now. I like that as well. Yeah. Well. Um, face hugger. Why is that? Let me show that a minute. It's, that's come up as a hidden comment. I don't know why. What's a face hugger's not... Why would that come up as a hidden comment, do you think? <laughs> I've just allowed it, so, yeah. Oh, right. Now I'm, uh, the, the excitement's just gone a little bit now. Well, not the excitement, the adrenaline's gone now because when you're opening something for the first time in front of loads of people, it's quite nerve-wracking. <laughs> Hi, Athena. Um, so I'll definitely, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out with me tomorrow and I will take uh, a few pictures of myself yeah, you know how it is? So I can prove that I've been out with it. <laughs> it's lovely. Unless it rains. I won't be taking out of it rain. I don't want to get it. I don't want to get rain on it. <laughs> this is going to be one of my best handbags. Definitely good designer stuff, this. I love it. Oh, Lauren. Lauren, Lauren, Lauren. Right. I'm going to pop that there. I want to put it so everyone can see it. Let's put it there. Let's put it there. You see that? Hang on. Turn you around. Right, pop that there. Um, <clears throat> on another note, I have a T-shirt that I've got to do. I have a T-shirt. Somebody's ordered a T-shirt. Um, I won't go too much into too much detail. Obviously, I can't give away people's names and stuff like that. But it's for a little boy that is um, got to go into hospital for six months or something. All right. Um, um, I won't go into the details, but yeah. So um, she asked me if I could put his name on there as well. 
um, this particular t-shirt it's a lorry design and I don't usually put the name on them um, but she's asked and she said you know she would pay extra but I was like no don't worry about that so I've got a t-shirt to do which I am going to do in a minute um, probably not during a live because I don't think everyone wants to watch that not tonight it's just a basic lorry design um, yeah so I'm going to say Thank you again to Lauren, okay? Thank you for joining the, the live. I really appreciate it. Um, you're very clever, all right? And if anyone else wants to go and check Lauren out, please do so. Um, her bags are lovely. And if you're in the US, then obviously you haven't got it. I had to pay postage, which is, you know, fine. But if you're in the US, you know, you obviously you've got to pay postage, but you won't have to pay as much as I did. <laughs> We've all, you know what it's like, shipping fees are horrendous these days, aren't they? And we've got to charge them. And don't, don't take that the wrong way, Lauren. I didn't mean like, um, you know, it was expensive. In fact, Lauren, I think you, you uh, refunded some of my shipping. I don't know why though. Um, but yeah, if you're in the US, go and check her out especially. And then you can, you know, get one of these easily. It won't take as long as I, either, I don't think. But then, the United States is a massive country, isn't it? So, I don't know. What's the shipping like in the, the US from one side of the country to the other? Um, for us here in the UK, it doesn't take... It takes a day for things to, you know, go from one side to the other. I'm going to move that a minute because I don't want wet... I've got a drink here and I don't want wet everywhere. Um, right. Whew. It's getting warm in here. Um, for those of you that have just joined, um, what I was doing before I opened my lovely bag from Lauren, um, I was packing up cards which I had printed off uh, last night. I went and picked them up today. They're of my latest artwork, some of my art that I've been doing. Um, and I don't know if there's any new people here that's watching. No, no, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, you see, it's difficult, isn't it? I'd love to be able to sell to all different um, countries and that, but it just gets so, you know, com complicated with all the shipping. Any over overages we make sure to refund. Oh, that's, do you know, that's a really good thing. That's a really nice thing to do. Um, I ordered in April, way too long, April, May, June... It's not too bad, I suppose. It did state on there about, didn't it state on there 20 weeks or something? I can't remember now, or 12 or something. But I'm happy, you know, as I'm happy that it got to me because, you know, if it had got lost, then I'd have been like, oh, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, that's that's the only worry. Things getting lost, isn't it? It's like not, not good, uh, but it happens. But yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy, happy, happy. Um, shipping costs are crazy yeah I live in Germany and they are sky high yeah it's ridiculous it's like in the UK now we could send something um, and it could be the same weight as some say something that thin okay and you could send something the same weight but uh, say like that wide and it would cost you twice as much because of the width of it which is a pain in the backside really um i know royal mail have put their prices up and up and up because i used to work for them and yes they are expensive but yeah i love this i'm really i'm really pleased with that design um how do you feel lauren should i send it to you do you want me to send you should i send you a um png or whatever it is of this See what you can get from it. Do you reckon you could do something with it? That would have been heartbreak. Yes, I know. Imagine all that hard work as well. You know? Lottie. Hi, Lottie. Lottie's with us, everybody. Hi, Lottie. We've just opened a nice... I had a pack. I bought a bag from Lauren Mormino. Okay, she's got a YouTube channel, if you don't already know. So I know she's very popular on YouTube. And she makes bags and things like this. So I decided I was going to buy one of her bags and I waited and waited until 
I came across this one. I like I like quite a lot of her bags actually, but I went in and I found this one here. I just love the design, the fabric. So I had to get it and I got it. And it's like, like Lauren said, it took, I ordered it in April, but um, I didn't think about it too much. And now it's here and I've unboxed it and I absolutely love it. I love the, um, you know, this here, I love the colour. Now, what do you actually call this colour? Is it rainbow? Because somebody else said something else to me and I can't think what they called it now, but I love it. I like these little, I like the way you've, you know, incorporated the same sort of, you know, thing as well. Yeah, Mary, you call it iris. I thought it was um, rainbow. It looks almost like petrol. You know when you pour petrol on the floor? Well, not that I do, but... It looks like that a little bit, doesn't it? Um, oh, Joanne's with us, look. Haven't seen Joanne for a little while. Um, yeah, it's very pretty. It's really, really nice, I love it. I, and I, look, the zipper as well, that's like rainbow as well. Pretty, very pretty. Um, yeah, so I've been doing cards as well. We'll go into that as well now. So, got that one there. Um, yes, Lottie, we've been doing cards here. Well, I have. Um, these are these forever, not forever trees, coming home trees. We've got some trees and they all, they seem to sit, you can see them. And when you're coming into Cornwall, you can see them. They're right on top of like a hill. But now they've put this big like windmill or mast thing behind it or something. <laughs> so it's sport it a bit. But um, people seem to love these trees. They find them magical or something. But they, um, rainbow, yes, right. Anodized metal, right? Okay, thank you. Um, the water painting, yes, yeah, it is like an oil slick. That's what, yeah, like a when you get that rainbow effect through water and oil mixed together, isn't it? And Ricky keeps calling it iridescent, but I don't know about that, Richie, Richie, Ricky. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I've been doing watercolors lately. Uh. So there's those. I did do, I'll go and get my, um, hang on. I did a big, you probably can't see it actually. Oh, here we go. Here's the original. Right. This is the original and I've, I've framed it. Um, I've actually put the prices, everything, everything's all on there. So that's the original. Um, I won't post all this because of the glass. So I don't want it breaking. So when I, I, what I've done is I've, um, done all the back there I've put one of my cards in there as well and signed the back so that's the original and this is my original oh that's not it that's an old frame with nothing in it um probably can't see this actually because i've bubble wrapped it now but this is my original bumblebee and i've had this for two years so i thought i'd sell it now um but it's in bubble wrap, so you can't see it. It's got gold, it's got gold paint on it as well, and a little bit of uh, like a glitter paint. So it's quite effective. It looks, it does look quite nice, unwrapped. <laughs> um, Maria, you're going to go onto Lauren's site later. Yes, do do so. Find one of her lovely bags, and if you do, and you find one you like, and you buy it, let me know, and let me know which one you're getting. So I'd love, I'd love to know. It's interesting to know. Maria, are you subscribed to this channel? Or have I already asked you that? Probably already asked you that, haven't I? I don't know. What are you up to, Lauren? Are you busy with Dorothy? Dorothy is up from her nap, so time for me to go. There you go, look, I'm a mind reader. But thank you so much. Excited to collab together sometime. Yes, definitely. It would be great to do that. We could perhaps, I don't know, come up with some fabrics and, you know, we could work together on it. I'd love to do that. Thank you so much, Lauren, for joining us. So I'm going to say bye. bye to, let's say bye to Lauren and go and check out her website for all her bags because you're sure to find something there. It's all different and it's all really pretty stuff and really nice stuff. OK, have a look. Yeah, there you go. You've got people going to your website now. Have a look. Bye, Lauren. Thank you for joining. Um, yeah, so... There we go, that's my original. So I've got to go, I'm going into the, into Wadebridge um, in the next few days. 
so I'm going to take some video footage. We're going to be doing up a whole window display um, with my art in it because every week they have somebody different. One of the makers or creators um, has the window and then they put all their items in the window and then um, you can, um, you know, you have the whole week then to catch people's eye and attention and draw them into the shop to hopefully buy your items. Um, yeah. So, right, I'm going to pop that there a minute. Um, so I've been packing up all these cards here. Let's bring this over around a little bit. There we go. Okay, you see okay? I've been packing up all these cards. I'm going to pop that over there so I can look at that and you all can still see it. And we've got to get some organisation here. I'm going to put that there. Um, I'm debating, I've got to do this t-shirt but whether to do it right now or just get on and do some of these cards um let's have a look it's got a little bit of a mess i don't know why i get like this and i end up everything gets chucked everywhere uh right we've got some envelopes there i don't want those ones at the minute let's fold some of these right i had to do a count up as well i haven't counted them yet because i want to make sure they are all there I had 300 cards printed. Um, it cost me £174 for 300 cards and 10 A4 prints of my Bumblebee print. So that's from my local printers, okay? So um, it's probably a little bit more expensive than it would be if I went to, say, Vista Print or something like that. But with Vista Print, I don't see exactly what I'm going to get. Whereas with these, I can see the proof and everything. So I know it's going to be okay. Because I've ordered stuff from Vista Print before. And it's turned out awful. I didn't like it one bit. The colouring was all wrong. And it wasn't nice. But... Mm, that's nice. I like that. Okay. Um... So I'm going to pack up some of these. I've already sold some to some shops because some of them will buy them straight away. And then some will just, um, you know, put them in and then they sell and then I get whatever. Whatever. Um, yeah. Right. Everyone's going now. <laughs> We've done the unboxing. So I thought it's just stay. I'm going to stay and chat for a little bit if you want to chat. Say something, come on, talk to me. Would you rather I was doing embroidery or uh, what? I just thought I'd get on and do some of this and then I can chat with you. I don't mind chatting. If you don't, you know, want to stay, then, you know, obviously you're free to go. Pop that up there. Amazing. God, that's just lovely. I love it. Are those, oh, those beads are so pretty. Thank you so much. Um, the cards I am, the cards I'm selling at £2.50 each, okay, which is, I think it's okay for a card, isn't it? Uh, I don't know if any, anyone else, does any, anybody else out there make cards, have cards printed up or what? Because if you do and you're in the UK, I know a great place that you can buy wholesale, buy your envelopes and your sleeves, all right? Um... Look at that system go. Love the organisation. My organisation is not that brilliant, honestly. Um, it's not that brilliant. Um, oh, absolutely okay. I pay $4 for Hallmark. Oh, yeah, Hallmark. We get Hallmark cards here. Um, so, yeah. But, like I say, they cost me about 47 pence each to have printed. Um, these envelopes here, I buy in boxes of a thousand and they cost me about £22, which is really, really good. It's cheap. And then these here are in a thousand, boxes of a thousand and I think they're about £10. 15 something like that. They're cheap anyway. I know they're very, very cheap. Um, yeah. This is not my usual, uh, normally I'm embroidering. Or, or I've been painting lately as well. I've been doing a bit of painting. I'm trying to mix it up a bit, but yeah. I quite like the green with this as well. And I'm going to also put 
I've got some yellow ones as well. This is exciting stuff, isn't it? <laughs> Not. Watch someone pack cards. <laughs> there we go. And the yellow looks quite nice because that goes with the yellow flower. <laughs> um, right. Armand. Ar is it Armand? Armand? What do you do? Are you... Do you embroider? Do you... What do you do? What do you do? We know Richie. He, he sews a lot, don't you? Richie, just ordered my sublimation printer, but the ink is like £49 on Amazon. Really? Arma, Armand. Okay. Um, I take it then, Richie, you are not using a... What, what sort of sublimation printer are you using? A proper sublimation or one that's been um converted are you using a an epson eco tank that's been converted or are you using what are you using epson eco tank right okay well, that's not bad though because the ink lasts forever in those things you love that print too i love it i think it's lovely thanks lottie um i don't know how many of these i'm going to have left by the time i've got to take some Take some on Saturday to this, not Saturday. Um, what day am I going there? I can't think. Well, I've got to take some to this gallery. Then I've got to send some off to another gallery. And I've also sold some to another place as well. So that's good. I sew mostly. I'm getting into making junk journals. Mostly making plushies. And just got my SE1900 machine <clears throat> today. Oh, I have a PE550 OD. That I've been using. 49 isn't bad for sub ink. No. He means £49, which is not $49. So £49 in dollars is approximately about 50 odd dollars. Uh yeah. $50, something like that. Um, which it isn't bad really, because if you think normal printers are a, the ink cost a fortune and they don't last five minutes. Some of these other the older printers the more the more money you spend on a printer i think the better it is obviously um i've got the what have i got an epson 27 the 2710 for my uh sublimation and then i've got a 7700 for my prints for, you know for printing on which really i could probably print all this sort of thing myself but I'm not that clued up on all that at the minute. Um, yeah, Richie sews cushions and makes clothes. What are you going to sublimate, Richie? Are you going to start sublimating stuff, are you? Obviously, if you've got a sublimator. <laughs> um, love it, Richie. I've made a few dresses myself. I love making handbags too, but they're costly to make. If not selling them to replenish costs. Why don't you sell them then? Can't you sell them? Armand, can you sell your handbags? There we go. Packing cards. Packing cards. Here we are. Packing cards. <laughs> Just t-shirts and stuff for myself. But yeah, but why would you want to do it for yourself? You've got to do it for other people as well. You try and make some money out of it. On the, you know, make a bit of money. Haven't seen Hayley today. Hayley's not with us. Where are you, Hayley? Where's Hayley? Where is she? So this is a bit different. Um, I am gonna, I'm not gonna have time to package all these at the minute because they take forever to do. But look at that, look at that, look, hang on. Is it quite a nice uh, colour, colour scheme? Quite a nice colour scheme. <laughs> uh, right. If you are, um, if you're in the UK and you're watching, I'm selling all my fabric off, okay? Uh, I will keep a little bit by for myself, but I won't be selling it for much longer. Once, once I've sold everything I need to sell, I'm not going to get more in because I need to spend the time to do other things. Um, and the same goes with all my blank t-shirts as well. Uh, I, I want to sell all those off as well. Beautiful colour palette, yes. Armand, oh, have you got a um, have you got a Facebook page or anywhere an Etsy shop or anything like that? 
if you have let us know and you can go and have a look Mary it's great that you are making other things with your art yeah well usually Mary I and everybody I paint in acrylic and resin okay so what I do is I paint acrylic and then I resin it and then paint over it again and resin it okay so and when you go to take a photograph of it it's never good enough because you get a reflection well I seem to anyway unless I suppose I could take it outside and photograph it but it's just not the same you do get reflections and they don't really take good photos so these here are all watercolor so I thought I'd just as well um, take some photographs of this and well actually these were scanned in from the printers um and get them you know make some money out of my print out of my art that way i mean there's those cards there i'm selling at two pound fifty each all right the actual the actual um original i'm selling at 65 pounds framed okay so that's going up in the shop at 65 pounds all framed and done um it's not masses don't make masses but those are so quick to do it doesn't take me f takes me more than five minutes obviously but it doesn't take me long and it's not there's no brain power there there's, it's not you haven't got to think about what you're doing um at the minute i'm in the middle of painting badgers and giraffes in acrylic um and harbour scenes which are all downstairs so i've got to get on to some of those i'm making a load more of my hearts my little floral hearts because i sold a load of those so once i've done that i've got to resin them um i might do a live tomorrow i'll see see how i feel because i want to go out in the garden tomorrow and either i've got to do a bit of gardening <laughs> i've got to do a bit of gardening waste some time gardening I've got so much to do. I hope to get a sublimation printer this weekend. Really? Wow, Mary. So you're going to start sublimating next, yeah? Um, you got your heat... Oh, you've got a heat press and everything, haven't you? Because you had one... You've got one for all your embroidery, yeah? Uh, time gardening isn't wasted. It's rejuvenating. Yes, it is. Yes, I agree there. I agree very much with you. Uh... And I might sit in the garden and do my life if I can get a signal out there. But I don't know. Can't seem to pick up the Wi-Fi from the house um, over whether it's too far away. It's probably the case. And my phone is not that brilliant for... Um, well, actually, I've never really tried it, I don't think. I've had a look at going live outside, but it's like not connected or something or other anyway. But maybe I wasn't trying properly. Right, let's do some of these now. Should we do a few of these others? Because I get I get bored quickly. Let's do some of these ones now. Do some trees. <laughs> um, Wi-Fi extenders on Amazon might help. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right there. I know we had, we've got Wi-Fi. We've waited years and years for our internet. Um, we've now got uh, T, was it? Proper, it's, it's straight to the house, right? We've got, it's called something, I can't think what it's called now. Um, and it basically, it's wired straight in from the pole, straight to the house, and it's really, really fast. We went for years without it, and I was paying for internet, which was absolute rubbish, and it was slow. And then we had this put in, and my son, he's a bit of a gamer, um, he... If he wanted to download a game onto his Xbox, he'd have to go over to his sister's house and do it there because we had rubbish internet, okay? I wouldn't have been able to do YouTube and everything because it just wouldn't work. Um, agree, no. Uh, so when the chap came to put the Wi-Fi, the internet in, this, you know, he couldn't believe it. All what he had been downloading and waiting for weeks and weeks and weeks was all because what he'd do is he would he'd have loads of games in waiting to be downloaded, if you know what I mean. And then all of a sudden they were all just downloading, downloading, downloading. He couldn't believe it. And we got such a fast Internet connection now. It's unbelievable. But now they're sending us letters saying that we can get even better. Well, what's the point? I don't get it. Is, does this mean now that if I go in the garden... If I pay extra, I can get internet in the garden, which is 
they always find a way of charging you more. Hi Kim, what are you doing? Hi Judy, look at this bag Judy. Oh, uh, Lauren Mormino made this bag and I bought it from her website. She's over in America, okay, in the US. And I purchased it from her and it came today. Um, it took a couple of months to come, but it's here and I absolutely love it. Look at this, look, it's really pretty. I just love it, look. That is like, just, oh, look, at the, look at the pattern that. It's lovely, they call it Pascal. Um, yeah, it is nice. And then inside, Look at the insides, it's so well made, look. Look at that, look, and you've got your little, little froggy zip, zippers, look. Beautiful. It is, isn't it? I was wondering about that. Oh, have you just joined, Armand, have you? Well, I did an unboxing of this. I unboxed Lauren, Lauren Mormino. Um, I purchased a bag from her, and I knew, well, as soon as I was gonna get it, I was gonna unbox it during either a live or a video, and, I unboxed it and I, over the moon with it. I really love it. It's beautiful and it feels nice as well. That This here feels so soft, like soft leather. Actually, I wonder if it, I didn't ask if it was real leather. It feels like real leather, you know. I wonder if it is. Cause I didn't, you know me, I just jump. Oh, wow, look inside there, look. Can you see that pink, pink glitter? It's got pink glittery stuff in there. Wow, that's lovely. I didn't see that before. It's beautiful. Oh, God, it's so nice. I love it. I keep saying it. Um, it might be on the slip pocket too. Oh, my God. It might be on the slip pocket too. Um, I really like seeing the mugs people make. Just think they would be fun. Yeah, that's a good thing as well. Oh, glittery. Oh, right. The... Um, the thing, no, there's no glitter vinyl in there, in that pocket, but, or that one, but it's in there. Look at that. Oh, no. There you go, you sort of see it there. It's lovely. It's lovely. Um, oh, sorry, should have hit enter sooner. That's all right, don't worry. <laughs> Um, you know what messaging's like. It gets it sometimes they can get a bit muddled and misconstrued. Absolutely love it. So go and check Lauren Mormino out, okay? Um if you don't know her already, um she's got a YouTube channel and it's basically spelled Hi Pepsi Girl Viv. Hello. Um she's called Lauren L A U R E N and then it's Mormino, okay? M O R M I M-I-N-O-W. M-O-R-M-I-N-O-W. More Mino. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'll put the link for her. I'll put her link to her YouTube channel down in the description. And I'll put a link for her um, website down in the um, description of this video. Okay. So check her out. Um, and, you know, if you want to, if you want a lovely designer bag, she's got little bags as well, little handbags. Um, this one here is the bigger, I don't want to get anything, I don't want to say anything wrong because my mind, you know what I'm like everybody, don't you? I forget things. Erica Bowler bag? I'm, I might be wrong. So I don't want to make an idiot of myself, but that's, I think that's the bigger one. And she does a smaller one as well. Um, oh, but they're beautiful. Her bag's are so beautiful. Um, I was saying that would make a nice fabric, wouldn't it? Don't you think? Do you think that would make a really nice fabric? And I love this here. This is another one. Um, if I got that right, right here. It's nice, isn't it? That's another one of my watercolours made into a card, as you can see. It's a card. No W on the end. More minnow. Did I say W on the end? N-O. What an idiot. I'm stupid. What an idiot. More minnow, M-O-R, more, M-I-N-O. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm terrible. Blooming terrible. Um, 
Oh, beautiful. It would make wonderful sundresses and bags. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Marissa, hello. Um, so Mary's going to get a sublimation printer. So everyone's getting sublimation printers now, aren't they? Um, Richie's getting, Richie's got one, he's getting more ink. You want to post on to group what you're making with them, because I don't mind sublimation on there. I know it says sewing and um, embroidery, but to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, I do get a little bit fed up with a lot of digitising going on on there. I try to cut that back a bit because it gets a bit out of hand. Okay, um, so yeah, it seems to be quite a lot of that going on. Um, but it's mostly, you know, for people that want to either show off their YouTube channels or show off their Etsy shops and also for help, really. Judy, I am a sub to her. I've been watching her for a long time. Yeah, she's very good, isn't she? Yeah, I only came across her recently, to be honest. Well, a few months ago now. Oh. Um, yeah. Yes, the digitizers are crazy. <clears throat> They're everywhere. It's funny because I won't I don't um allow very uh, well, to be honest with you, there was a lot of stuff going on in group that people digitizers, some digitizers were pushing people, um pressurizing them and so on and messaging them and it's not it's you can't have that all the time it's not fair you know you don't want to be pressurized into stuff so in the end i try to stop it all together so i very rarely let some digitizing um posts go up i love that card <clears throat> i've got to count all these at some point as well i'm getting a little bit uh <laughs> messy diane hello i've been set eyeing a white toner printer What's a white toner printer? I've been a bit thick. I never heard of it. A white toner printer. What's that do? What does that do? Tell me. Joanne, you have one? What, a white toner printer? What's the Facebook group? It is um, Machine Embroidery and Sewing Community. And the Anne's one of these Anne's like that. Hi, Cindy. We have Cindy with us, everybody. Hello, Cindy. How are you? I loved your last video, by the way. It was lovely. And I love your sunglasses. All right. You remember that. They're classy. Very classy. And they look they look classy on you as well. <clears throat> um, I'm good. So happy to catch you live. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't think, have you done, you haven't done a live for a little while, have you? I don't think you have. <laughs> Sunglasses. <laughs> you get them, don't you, Cindy? You get them. People, people, people. What can you do? Cindy, guess what? Did you see? Look at this look. Guess, one guess who made that? It's in the title, so you'd know. <laughs> Lauren, isn't she clever? She's so clever. I had to buy one. I had to buy it. And we've been worried about it because we sort of like had, we heard nothing for a little while and we couldn't, we was like, oh no, please, let's hope it's not got lost. But it turned up. It turned up. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. She is so clever, isn't she? And it's got glitter vinyl in there, look. I'm repeating myself. So those of you that watch this replay, be warned, okay? I'm repeating myself a lot. <clears throat> um, but it's a beautiful bag and I love this. Absolutely love it. Idonized metal, I think Lauren said it was. And that you've got a froggy there as well. Look. It's cute. I love it. Beautiful. Yeah, she is very talented. But we've all got talents in some way or the, or another, haven't we? But having the bag talent is, well, that's a talent I wouldn't mind, to be honest with you. I wish I could make bags that good. Hmm. Beautiful. It's really, I'm, I think it's real leather as well. I don't know. It feels like real leather. I don't know. I don't know. You never know. 
was lovely beautiful beautiful and she sent me some little freebies as well she sent me a couple of free free things it came in this bag as well so all professionally done you know beautiful she is very professional isn't she um oh yeah i got a little hair clip and a little there we go got a little hair clip look at that look and a little book as well and a little key ring there we go so she has some lovely bags i love her fabric um it's different but at the same time it's beautiful do you know what i mean it's like something that i would never think of making a bag out of like the face hugger some we we're saying about the face hugger fabric um i actually quite like that it might not be everyone's cup of tea but it's different i would never have thought of doing something like that um i'm making cards at the minute i'm packing cards up i've had a load of cards printed from my um originals okay um these are watercolors cindy um inclusions are wonderful now yes yes um there's another one there as well so these are basically watercolors that i've done and i've had them printed onto cards and and then i'm i bought a load of envelopes separate uh with the sleeves and now i'm packaging them all up to sell we have a bumblebee as well a little bumblebee and these trees here I'm repeating myself again these are landmark trees in cornwall or on the way to cornwall and these are an embroidery project but made into prints um a bit of an andy warhol style card <laughs> um so yeah what else have we got here oh we've got some little seagulls as well somewhere there we go this is another embroidery project 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 so then i printed it off and made it into a card they sell quite well at the seaside it's like seaside shops stuff like that how much kim well actually i'm selling them at two pound fifty each um and it'll be free postage just as well but in the uk that is i can't if i said free postage everywhere then i wouldn't make nothing if i had to send one to anywhere else the us and that but yeah two pound fifty each um i've been testing the life of a t-shirt made with a digi digital heat effects um you're so talented too kim oh thank you cindy um how how cindy how are you getting on with your um your cutting machine your um what's it called you know your thing for making all those nice signs and stuff? I'm going to chuck all this on the floor. That's what I'm going to do with that. Chuck it on the floor. How are you getting on with your machine machinery and that? Are you getting on well with it? Have you made some things? But I know I've seen you've made a few things with it, but have you been busy with it? Looks like some mean piece of... Mean piece of... <laughs> it looks like a mean piece of machinery. I'm trying to talk properly um but cards everywhere here yeah. i've got painting to do tonight uh i've got a, a shirt as well to do for some uh somebody they've asked me for a which i'm repeating myself again i've got a shirt that i'm making for somebody it's a just a lorry um i forget what kind of lorry it's called now but it's for a little boy that's in hospital apparently for six months so she wants it for him um so I'm going to make that. And she asked for his name to be put on it. Um, and she was going to pay me for that. But I thought, it's not, I didn't feel right taking extra money. So I'm going to just put his name on it for him. And I might do something else. I don't know. What What could I do? Like pop something else in for him. Just as a little, I don't know, cheer me up. Pick me up. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Uh... Maybe I could make something else with his name on or something. Do a little bag or something. I've got some bags under here, some little rucksack things that I haven't really used. So I could do that. I'm selling all my fabric off, by the way. Getting rid of all that. and going to keep a bit back for myself. I'm not going to be selling fabric anymore. Um, and I'm not going to be s a little cape. That's a good idea. Hmm. Yeah, because he's only four. Oh, bless him. Four. No. Oh. Um. Yeah, I'm selling off all my fabric apart from what I'm gonna use for myself, 
I'm not going to be selling fabric on Etsy anymore after this is all gone. I'm selling off all my blank t-shirts, my puff sleeve blank t-shirts. Um, I'm fed up with those now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm selling all those off as well. Especially in the UK, they're going for $4.99 each with free postage. So if you want any blank t-shirts, puff sleeved, um, I've got a load on my main website and on my Etsy shop. If you go on the main website and you're in the UK, um, well, it applies to everybody really, but I think, I can't remember now. Did I put postage? I can't, I can't remember. If you want any and you're from any other country, if you want to go in, put some in a basket see what they are see what the i know the postage will be horrendous but it will come up horrendous because i've done it so i don't i, I just don't know what i'm doing with postage to be honest with that so it's difficult for me to work out and you do want some but the postage is high come to me message me and i will see what the actual postage is for that amount of shirts and you won't get charged any more or less it would be spot on and if you think it's worth it then I can send them out to you. Um, but once they're gone, like I say, they're gone then. Uh, just got the internet back. Don't know what happened. Yes, Kim, I am a subscriber. Oh. <laughs> um, a pillowcase. That's a good idea. Pillowcase. Yeah. Yeah. I could have something else. Like, I could put a lorry on that as well, couldn't you, really? Something or his name. I'll have, I'll have a think about it. I'll have a think about it. I haven't got a rush for that, so but I can do the t-shirt first and then I could always send the other thing out later. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, I can't think now. Yeah, I'm going to keep some t-shirts back for myself. I won't be ordering any more uh, because it's just time. It's time consuming. There is a lady local near me that's going to start selling them. She's got... She's ordered from the same supplier that I've got mine from. Um, if you need to know suppliers, just ask. You know, there's videos of it out there anyway. I've made videos of it. So if you want to um, get your own puff sleeve shirts and stuff. And they do other things as well. Um, and there's, there's so much cheaper doing it that way. So much cheaper. It's cheaper than buying them from me as well, to be honest with you. If you buy in bulk, that is. Um so yeah and if you're going to be selling a lot of t-shirts anyway why not buy them wholesale do you know what i mean because in the long run you're going to be you know saving yourself money and that's what this is all about you've got to try and save as much money as you can we all need to make money don't we unlike me i seem to lose money left right and center but it's not that bad I can't complain i'm trying to make money with other things like my art and stuff like that uh and that does that works so can't complain there um let me see if i've missed anything just uh right a pillowcase all right i've seen that one yeah a cape is a great idea i quite like the work the the idea of a cape um i tell you what i am going to be doing soon yes <laughs> i tell you what i'm going to be doing soon and that is gonna i'm gonna try and make a hooded blanket um I'm gonna have a go at that. See what it see what it's like with that fleecy fabric, which is the horriblest stuff to sew. Um, I won't be doing it on my jack machine, that industrial machine, because it hasn't got a um, the foot. Not you, ideally, you need a walking foot to do uh, like what they call minky and all that, and the furry fabric. That there. Uh, if Rich is still watching, he advised me on feet that you can actually attach to the industrial that could do the same job as a walking foot. My machine's just a straight stitch um, feet and it feeds through the, um, it's not got, uh, what do you call it? Richie, help me out. I can't remember now. I, can't, I forget the names of everything. Terrible. Um, it is a little less slippery than the super plush stuff, yeah? <laughs> So I will do it on my normal machine. That's what I'll do. Um, I could try it, I suppose. I don't know. I don't want to wreck it. So I'm going to try a hooded um, blanket. What time is it here? Well, I've been on an hour and 10 minutes. Um, feed dogs, that's it. That's it. 
it's not got um like the you know the feed dog thing it's well there's my machine you've probably seen my machine anyway haven't you some most of you it's covered i've got stuff everywhere here fabric that i've cut out waiting to be but that's my machine there it's actually called <laughs> if i take all these magnets off it's called a jack all right um it's a it's a really good machine don't get me wrong okay um but like with most industrial machines they either do one thing or another um very rarely will they do they won't it won't do a zigzag stitch and stuff like that okay i think amber's got a machine that does both but i forget what hers is called now so that's something totally it's not a dukey it's not a jack it's something else um this one here's got it's got the automatic cutter um which is very handy because basically and it's got the automatic it start goes backwards and forwards you know when you you your thingy stitching what's it, what's it called double stitching when you start off and then you finish so it does that automatically you can switch it off it's all um electrical like all computerized um amber has the reliable that's it that's it um so it's all computerized and you can change it to do whatever you want really you can change it to automatic cut or if you don't want it to automatic cut you don't have to the speed it's a 5,000 um, stitches per minute, 5,000 per minute, okay? Um, I think the Juki, um, I can't think what it's now. One of the fastest Jukis is 5,500 stitches per minute. Um, a lot of people have been getting those for um, making tutus and stuff like that because they're really quick. But at the end of the day, I don't think you're going to really want it you, you you're not gonna it's gonna go too fast for you if you put your foot right down on that pedal to its full potential i think you're, it's just gonna go all over the place isn't it because that's just ridiculous it's like driving a car at 150 miles an hour um oh your dukey arrived today did it yeah i saw what was it a dukey is five five hundred five thousand five hundred yes that's right but can you imagine putting your foot down on that jukey like like you would in a car and pushing that foot right to the floor i think you i think your tutus are gonna end up like, like this you'd never keep up with it would you i mean i know i've i've tested fabric on that and that's only five thousand and it's like well you've got to be very uh quick with how you move you know can you imagine that um isn't Rock City beautiful? I really enjoyed Rock City. I was disappointed. Ruby Falls. Yeah, five, five, five. <laughs> it is crazy. Have a go though. Do it, Cindy. I will tell you what. Do a um. Do a do a live. I don't know if you've done it yet. Do your live unboxing, and then just get any old bit of tutu material fabric. Yeah, and pretend make out you're going to sew yourself a tutu. That it doesn't really matter if you go wrong. Just have a go. Just do a video. Say, right, I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna do this at five thousand five hundred stitches per minute, just to see what happens. You never know, do you? It might, you might be, you might be good, and it might, you know, turn out all right. Do you know what I mean? You might be really quick with your fingers. <laughs> Don't say your fingers though. Um, try it. See how it turns out. It would be interesting to see if you could just put your foot right down on that pedal, and just go for it get make sure you got all your all your tool ready okay scrap tool whatever but make sure you know if you're prepared to just uh you know <laughs> i may mess up a few times at first no but what i'm saying is you wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't go mental with it anyway would you just um but just go mental this one time just put your foot right down just to see see what happens just be interesting never you might surprise yourself you might surprise all of us and it might actually just go right through it and it'd be fine but i i don't know i think there are very fast machines um i can't keep up with that thing when i've had a go it's just doing a crappy old bit of fabric um yeah go on try it do a video it'll be a laugh it'll be funny make it into make it into one of these uh you know mess around videos nothing serious just like let's just see the fastest go the fastest you can um i'm not very good at sewing to tool anyway uh no i'm not very good i did make my granddaughter a tutu the other day and actually i'm gonna have a go at making her a really 
big um like a princess dress she wants a princess dress well she calls herself princess she's princess i said so what are you princess i'm a princess so i'm gonna make her like a really long tutu and make it really puffy um you know i'm not one for selling and making tutus i haven't got uh, i haven't got the time or patience for it um but i'm gonna make her one just for her and i'm gonna do something with the top half i don't know attach something up here as well and make that really puffy maybe i could put some sleeves or something big puffy sleeves i don't know cindy if you i don't know if you've watched any of my other video oh, no i've got an intro out actually go and have a look at my intro um and i've got my it's just an intro video it's about 59 seconds long um just say stating sort of things i do it's like a little little musical video it's got my granddaughter in it and she's wearing the tutu that I made, okay? Bearing in mind, I don't make tutus. Very, very, don't make them. <laughs> um, and she's wearing that and she's doing a little twirl and she looks so cute. She was, she loved it. It was, it was her tiger tutu. It was, she had to be, dress up, safari, have a safari, like a safari dress up day. So we did a little t-shirt with a um, tiger on it. It, out of fluffy fabric and then i did a tutu out of this it's like a oh actually it's up here i got this here it's not the best of colors but it was the right color match for the tiger so it's that it's almost like a brownie orange but it was either that or a really really bright orange and that didn't look like a tiger but this did um you want a girl well you never know got a feeling you probably get, you probably have a girl, you know. We'll see, won't we? <laughs> Never know. You are are you having a baby now though? Because I haven't. I don't think I the one of the videos. I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't ask that question. Sorry, that's a bit personal. I know you were gonna, you were going going to. So I don't know how far ahead you are with that. So <laughs> I don't want to drop myself in it. Don't want to say too much, per too personal. Um, perfect colour, yeah, yeah, perfect colour. I quite like the idea of that, you know. You should try that, Cindy, as well. Like I know you do your cows and your your um like your farm type ones. Maybe do some um other animal print ones, like um like like a tiger, lions. Um, I think I don't know. <laughs> um. No, I wish I was pregnant, but I'm not. Well, watch this space. Watch this space. Okay, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, no, I've got I've got a good feeling for you, Cindy. I just you know got a good feeling. I have so many ideas and not enough time to do them. I know, and I expect like. I heard yesterday, Cindy, that you are still doing your full-time job. Is that correct? Because if you are, it is very, I can imagine, because I used to work, not full-time, but enough, three days, that was four down to three days a week, and you just don't, I don't get enough time now, you know, and I'm here every day now. Yeah, I, I have my granddaughter a couple of days a week, but it, it always works out. There's always something crops up. Um, I take my son to work now as well. Well, he drives. He drives us to work. He is. Uh, he's. He can drive, but he hasn't passed his test yet. So he's a class as a learner driver, and me, I'm terrible. I'm a wreck. I'm not very good. I'm not a good passenger. Uh, I'm looking over here because I'm looking at messages. Yeah, I think about quitting at least five times a day. <laughs> well. If you can, if your business picks up, like it is, like it looks like it's going to, I can see by the stuff you've got, um, I can see by how committed you all are to even your husband, you know, he, wow. I mean, my husband's very good, but he can't make bows. He can put things in envelopes and stuff like that. He should be doing this job, but mind you, I keep, sorry, I'm going to put that away. <laughs> Don't want to. I did ask him to pack up some cards uh, last year and I noticed he would pack them all up, put them in the little sleeves like this and I did say to him, don't bother doing the thing up, don't stick that down because 
I wanted to check them and it was a good job because he would like put two cards in. I'm like, how can you put two cards in? Can't you see there's two cards in there? Can't you feel how, how fat it feels? Oh, sorry. So yeah, but he did put a load of other stuff together for me. But your husband makes all those beautiful bows. Wow. You know that to be able, and now he's you're getting him sewing as well. Sure, you you two are going to be a team. I think you already are, but I think you know your business is going to be good, booming. Um, I got a good I got a good uh, feeling about your business. Honestly, you've just you've you've got you've got that look about things. Your stuff is really pretty. We're talking about Cindy here now. If anyone doesn't know Cindy, Cindy Mong, let me get it right. Cindy Moncada, okay? If anyone doesn't know her, she's got a YouTube channel as well. You probably all do know her. She's very popular. And she makes um, birthday shirts, embroidery, and, and now she's making these other birthday um, items as well for kids' birthday parties. And, well, it all looks lovely. Colour, colours, the, the colour schemes are beautiful. Everything's beautiful. It all looks good. Which is, you know, the best thing, really. You said it perfect. Yes. Right, that's all right then. <laughs> good. Um, is Gongo, what's that? Yes, Cindy is gone go far. Oh, going to go far. Yeah, yes, definitely. Definitely, definitely. And you'll probably be off. You'll probably give up your job. And you will be at home doing your own business. That's what I think. Because you've got it all there. You've got the... You've just got it. You've got this. You've got it. I haven't seen you for a little while, though. Um, you do notice when some people are not around for a while. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I take it you went away or something, didn't you? I think I don't I'll, I'll be honest I don't watch everything because I just haven't got the time but I do watch if and when I can um and I also share my time between different people as well so that you know I try to do as much as I can for other people um right what am I doing have I run out of those aren't I still packing cards here look at this look Ugh. here we go I'm supposed to be working on a contract, but I saw you live and said, well, I need to watch Kim. <laughs> oh, you can go and work on your contract. You can go and work on your contract. If you want to go now, you're welcome to go. <laughs> Thank you very, very much for coming in. It's really nice to, it's really nice to have all these people come in, that, um, these other YouTubers. It's lovely. I like it. Um, I don't get it. I don't get it a lot. Um, but it's very nice when people do. It is very nice. Hayley! Oh, here she is, everybody. Here's Hayley. Hayley, Hayley, Hayley. Hello. How are you? How's Hayley? Are you all right, my lovely? How are you? Look at this bag, Hayley. Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? It's all right. It doesn't matter that you're late. Look at that. <gasps> Lauren Mormino. Oh, my goodness. And I have it here in my own hands. Lauren made this and I've got it here in my hands. I bought one of her bags. I, t I think I told you anyway. Um, and it's arrived today. And I'm so pleased with it. I love it. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And inside, I'm going to repeat myself again. For those of you that haven't seen this bit already, <laughs> it's got like a glitter vinyl inside as well. Beautiful. And obviously... Inside here is just your average, uh, well, not average, nothing's average where Lauren's concerned. Um, look at that, look, isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous, flipping gorgeous. I love it, I love it. And if it doesn't rain tomorrow, which I don't think it's going to, I'm going to take it with me and I'm going to see how many people look at it because it's beautiful. <laughs> it stands out, that's the sort of thing that stands out. Um, all her bags are beautiful, it's lovely. Uh, Wendy, thank you. Yeah, it intimidated me at first, though. Um, love your new farm animals, my new cutter plotter. Yeah, well, um, you, you'll get better and better, won't you, Cindy? Um, 
I, what did I get? I got myself, because I'd never, I always thought HTV vinyl, HTV vinyl, and then I saw Olu made a video about, um, she put sticking, what I thought was HTV vinyl on balloons, and I was thinking, how do you heat transfer that onto a balloon? This is me, because I'm a bit thick like that. <laughs> So I was like, how do you heat transfer vinyl on balloons? Because it pops, surely. No, it's not that sort of vinyl. It's permanent vinyl, like decal. So I looked up car decals, because uh, somebody else said to me, oh, you know, cars have them, car decals. And I thought, ah, oh, right. So I looked it all up, and I noticed, because I do resin on my paintings, I did make a couple of little resin things as well. Um, and I saw some bookmarks, which I quite like the idea of, and you can put people's names on them. And they used this stuff, this, uh, what's it called? Ugh, I can't think of it. The vinyl, whatever it is, the permanent vinyl that's not heat trans, just goes on and it's waterproof and everything. And you can get stuff like car decal stuff. Amazing. In fact, Cindy's got a machine that would cut these, because she's got the big machine. That would cut these dark card decals that you see people putting up in the whole width of their window, windscreens. But the way, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have the patience to applying it all and everything. But yeah, and I got myself some of this as well. So I thought I would try that at some point. Just another one of my 50 billion things I've got to do. Um, permanent, yeah, permanent vinyl, that's it. I love that bag. Yeah, I know. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Do you want to see it again? Why have I I've moved that around? There you go. You can see what I'm doing now. That's better, isn't it? There we go. Have a look at that. Beautiful bag. Beautiful. I love it. Um, Armand, just slap it on some transparency sheet and you can use it in your resin. Really? I know I know I can you can apply it on top of the resin, but I didn't know you could put it inside the resin. Is that right? Um at the minute, I'm doing watercolour paintings uh, to go in in the gallery on at the weekend or next week. So I've got a whole window space in a gallery. So I need to sort that out. Um, I've got to take a trip down with a load of artwork, which I have got uh, everywhere. It's all over the place here. So that that's all got to go down and go in the window. And I've got that, the whole window space for a whole week. So hopefully it'll bring people in and buying stuff. Hence why I thought I'd get a load of these cards done up um, and that way try and sell some cards. Because apparently cards is what pays the rent. That's what I've been told. Because um, so I pay rent, I pay pay for the shop, like I rent a space. Excuse me. Um, I use Oracle vinyl, it's good. Oracle vinyl. Good luck, Kim. Thank you. Uh, what's this then? This is just off of Amazon. I don't know if it's not even got a proper name. I don't know. 12 by 5 yards of that. Rose gold. I'm yet to try. Don't hold your breath though because uh, it will probably be a long time coming. With everything else I've got to try and do. Like now, I am packing cards up. My husband could all probably do this. <laughs> And then I could be painting. Um, yeah. So, Haley, how is uh, your son? Your sons, how are they? Are they in bed? Have they gone to bed? Or is uh, is is um? Oh, what's his name still up? Uh, I can't think of his name. My memory. I'm sure I'm getting a bit in my old age. You know, I'm losing my memory. I am losing my memory. Um, right. Hey, Toby's here with me. Hello, Toby. I thought Toby might be with you. Hello, Toby. You being good? Yeah, are you being good? <laughs> um, we had we had Lauren Mormino with us earlier, Haley. She popped on. And she even shared it to her So Whatever group. If you're not part of her Facebook group, um, go and check her out there. I'll put everything down in the description below if I, when I get around to it. 
but she joined earlier but she had to get off because dorothy was up from her nap and um so she watched the unboxing i've been just so excited about this bag coming i've been like and when it just came today i was like oh no i'm not gonna open it i'll wait until later and go live and then i can open it there um, don't forget to give him Kim a thumbs up. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Judy. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, everybody. <laughs> or thumbs down. Because we know there are some people that uh, like to do that, don't we? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> right. Get in there. Slowly. I've got a face cover in there. That can go up there. I'm going to have a sort out in this room because it's a mess. I need to get everything organised. Uh, I want to put the TV up on the wall. Um, and then I want to put this shelf over there somewhere. Don't know where yet. I can't take up too much space on this table because I have to do my resin work on here as well, believe it or not. And I cover it down. Don't, don't worry about that. All gets covered. Uh... So, yeah, it's not good. I don't like resining outside because of the the air. Is If it's a slightly bit damp or damping or humid, then it doesn't do your resin any good. Um, it can cause problems after it's dried or cured, as you call it. So I like to do it in a warm, dry room. And I always put the dehumidifier on once I've resined artwork and cover it, cover it up. Um, I should be making a shirt really tonight, but I think I'm going to do it tomorrow when there's a bit more time. Because it's getting a little bit late now. Uh, yeah. Jenny Stone. Good morning. Hi, Jenny. Sorry I missed your message. Um, good morning. 5.30 a.m. here. One degree here. One degree? Where are you? Where are you, um, Jenny? Jenny Stone, where are you? Do you mean 100 degree or one degree? My battery's dying on my phone. My battery's starting to die on my phone. How do I plug it in? Hang on. Um, I've got my phone in. Look, funnily enough, no one's tried to ring me, which is which is very odd because usually I get a phone call when I'm going live and I'm on my phone. So <clears throat> let's see if we can plug you in. I should see it here. There's wires everywhere. Australia. And it's 100 degrees or one degree. You've put one degree. Let me just check. Yeah, you have. You've put one degree. So that's freezing. <laughs> it's not freezing in Australia, is it? Or is it? Or did you mean to put 100? Let me plug it, this in. Where? Uh, there we go. Is it? Is that plug working? Mm, should do. Yeah, it's got paint all over it. You can tell I'm an artist, can't you? Look, look, look at my phone case. That's my phone case no phone in it at the minute yeah it's almost 100 degrees here god blimey i couldn't cope with it i can't i can't take too much heat i'm not i'm warm i'm hot here all right and it's mind you it's probably hot flush my age I keep <laughs> i'm sure i'm sure of it um but no here it's got to be about let me think it's not even 20 degrees here 20 degrees what would you call that in with regards to fahrenheit centigrade i'm not very good on all that i go in the lower numbers um but yeah it's hot enough for me and it's like it's not that hot no it's only one degree what really is it winter over in australia now then well obviously if it's one degree i suppose one degree i thought it was always boiling hot in australia i thought you never had it cold you never have snow do you ever have snow do you have snow over there i'm making cards at the minute packing cards up 20 celsius is 
68 Fahrenheit. Thank you, Cindy. I'm, I haven't got the time to... I, could, I couldn't think about it. 68 Fahrenheit. There you go. So it's only about 68 here, if that. To be honest with you, it's probably not even that. Not now, anyway. Um, yeah. So that's cold to some people, I think. But it's hot enough for me. I don't, I don't like it too hot. It's like just too... It's unbearable. 20 Celsius is 68 Fahrenheit. We're getting there with these cards. I like the, um, I quite like the orange envelope with the, uh, with it as well, because it goes with the, that there. And I've also got green envelopes, which go with it as well. So I mix, a mix and match, a little bit of a mix and match. Um, yeah. So it's a good thing about painting is there's other ways you can just keep selling your art, isn't there? You know, have it printed off and then make some money that way. I've got all my info on the back as well. Um, so basically they put on the back, that's the actual paint there, and then my YouTube to try and get a little bit more um, advertising out there. Yes, plenty warm. We, yes, we do have snow, not at my place in Victoria. Oh, right, Victoria. I have relatives in Victoria, I think. It rings a bell. I'm not very, a lot of my family emigrated to Australia and Canada years ago. And the family has grown a, a lot. Um, I've also got family in New Zealand as well. I've got family everywhere, actually. Uh and, and um, uh, Dubai, <laughs> Dubai, South Africa, um, quite close family as well, some of them, but I never go anywhere because I don't like flying. I'm not a very good flyer, don't like aeroplanes, uh, so no. 88 in northeast Florida, we weathered Elsa's storm, but some in Georgia did not. Oh. You have some horrible storms and stuff out there, don't you? We had a, what do they call it? Tornado or whirlwind or something um, in London the other week, which was very strange. It wrecked a load of buildings, apparently. We don't very often get things like that. Um, but yeah. Diane. Hello. I think I've said all right hello to you already. I lose track. I have been on for uh, an hour and 38 minutes. I'm keeping track. Oh man. <laughs> Tornadoes are the norm here. Yeah, but that's the thing, isn't it? I just, well, I don't, I can't imagine what it would be like to live in places that. I videotaped three from my patio, blimey. If you videotaped it, could you put it on one of your... You could add it in one of your... Li um, not lives, in one of your videos, couldn't you? Or did you? Have you done that? Um, you know how I like to put all sorts of stuff in my videos? <laughs> I'm terrible. Some of the stuff... In fact, I've got a video coming out soon. Need to go now, Kim. Bye, everyone. Bye, Hayley. Thanks for coming. They are scary, yeah, I bet. Um, yeah, I d totally random. I, I have made a video, I haven't edited it yet, but I've made a video of me. Um, I purchased a, a meal, like a meal plan. Um, basically, it's no, no diet fad or anything like that, although I could do with losing a few pounds. I'd love to, and I'm going to at some point. Um, but this here is like a four day meal plan and it was uh, all the ingredients. Basically, I'm just showing how how it all turned out. And I tell you what, I've, I've eaten some really nice meals the last four days. Absolutely lovely. Um, and I couldn't fault it. They were they're from Gusto, they're called Gusto or something. Gusto. I think it's only in the UK. Um I ought to look at you a bit more because I, I tend to, I've been looking at all, I feel rude not looking while I'm talking to you. I'm reading the HelloFresh box. No, it's not HelloFresh, but I did see the HelloFresh, Judy. Um, 
and I nearly ordered from them, but no, my daughter recommended Gusto, because so basically it's a four day, it was five, but they cut it to four days apparently. I ordered it for four people. Um, there's three of us in the family, but you can have it for two or four. So I ordered it for four and it's plenty for all four, uh, three of us. And um, it cost something like £19 for the first one. You got 60% off. And then for the second one, it's £37. Um, and then the third one, if I keep having it, it's like 40 something pounds. But to be honest with you, it's quite good value. I, I like it. <clears throat> yeah, gusto. <clears throat> got to run uh, to a meeting. I'll try to come back. Probably might be gone by then. All right, I'm not going to stay on for too long. But thanks, thanks for joining us, Cindy. You're always welcome. Um, and I will try and catch up on your videos at some point as well. I always try to, if, even if I have to go back and watch some at a later date, I do, I do try. Um, and maybe do a live at some point. That would be nice if you do get time. Uh, sometimes it's easier to do lives, and you haven't got to edit, have you? But yeah. I'll be there to support if I can, if it's the right time. Bye. Bye, Cindy. Uh, right. We're getting there, slowly but surely. We're packing cards, okay? <laughs> After we had unboxed this. If you've just joined, we unboxed the Lauren Mormino bag, right? Um, if you want to have a look at what she's got available on her website, they're very, very well-made bags, okay? And they're worth every penny, all right? Um... I'll put the link down below for her website and her her YouTube channel as well. Okay, it's uh, moremeno.com. That's M E K N O W. Then M E dot com. That's her website. But her name is Lauren Mormino, which is M O R M I N O. Get it right, Kim. Make sure you get it right. Don't want to give any false info information out. Ugh, editing. <laughs> Oh, right, I'm getting a bit, oh, I'm getting a bit fed up with doing these cards at the minute now. It's getting a bit much. I ought to be painting. I could have done a live painting, I suppose, couldn't I? I could always go downstairs and do some more, because I know a lot of you are going to be up anyway. Especially the lady that's up at 5.30am in Australia. <laughs> Getting there. Getting there, getting there. Right. Here we go. Right. I think I might let you all go because you don't want to be sitting there watching me just do this all day, do you? It's not the most exhilarating things to be doing. Um... If you have just joined, then you can go back and have a look and re-watch uh, the unboxing of the lovely bag over there. Uh, I will try and get all the info I can put down in the description. All right. And yes, I think we're going to leave it at that. I'm going to say bye. I'm going to say bye. Right. Um trouble with me is I could just sit here all day doing this and chatting and yapping because I am a bit of a I talk a lot but I want to try and make things a bit more exciting than just packing cards okay uh right let's have a look see what let's let's have a look is there anything I could uh let me think there's nothing else there's nothing really I could show you not really you've seen it all most of you have. <laughs> um, I've packaged some art. I'll tell you what I will do. I'll get those. Where are they? I'll get those uh, paintings that I am going to be sending off. If I can find them. Where are they? 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 Right. Hang on. I'll be with you in a minute. Right. This chair's got a mind of its own. It keeps on moving. Right, okay. I'll put those down there gently. So, we have... This one here's all been... A lot of you won't know this because, you know, this is like a landmark in Cornwall. Or on the way to Cornwall, okay? Um, it's like 
the coming home trees or the nearly there trees. So I frame that one up. That's the original. They're not prints, not these ones. Um, and then we got that fish one there. Okay, that's another different fish one. Okay, so that's all framed up, ready to go. These are all going to a gallery before the weekend. Oh, we've got another tree one there as well. There we go, another tree one. Slightly different. Uh, yeah, so there we go. So I've got those ready so far. And where's my... And you've, you've seen some of this. We've got that one there. That's all framed. Um, this one's going to be going. That's the bumblebee. That's the original... I'm repeating myself a lot now and I don't I don't really want to because whoever watches this, if they watch the whole lot, they're going to think, you've already told me that, haven't you? <laughs> so I think I'm going to go, all right? Okay. Right. No more messages. So I am going to get off. Um, I hope you have a lovely day, evening, morning, afternoon, whatever. Okay. Um, have a great day, Kim. Th thank you, Diane. Thank you very much. Um, if you have placed an order for fabric, thank you very, very much. And for the shirts, don't forget, if you're in the UK, please check out my um, my website for the blank T-shirts, all right, the blank puff sleeve shirts, because there is, up until the end of July, um, a discount on there, okay, of 10% if you order over £50 worth. Uh, they're 4 99 each, and it's free postage for the UK, all right. On my Etsy shop, it's the same. They're four ninety nine each, but there's no discount co code on there. Um, but you can um, you can speak to me if you're in the US or any other country, and I might be able to do something else on the postage. Just have a look, see what's what. All my fabric is on sale on my Etsy shop. It's going down quite quickly. I've still got quite a lot left, mind. Um, so please, I am. So I have sold out of a few things. Uh, just check it out and it's all free postage again to the to the UK and once it's gone it's gone I'm not gonna be stocking anymore all right so I hope that's not gonna upset or annoy anyone too much um, but I will help you out if you need to get something I'll help you out with that okay and sort that out for you if there's something that you have regular okay uh, right I'm gonna go thank you very very much for joining everybody I really appreciate it all right bye for now i'm gonna go and do some painting now so bye for now see you soon goodbye right let me find this off button